accident began about 10.30 p.m. when an officer contacted a man near a dumpster in the 1000 block of West Morrison Avenue. The man displayed two knives. 69, when I come flying, we're going to be up the near trash cans. He has a knife and he, he keeps coming towards me. The officer requested backup and the man walked away. The man was then stopped by several other officers. After being told more than 20 times to drop the weapons, the man takes five steps towards the officers. That's when an officer fired a less than lethal projectile, hitting the man near his stomach. <laughs> officers continue to talk with the man to try and convince him to drop the weapon. After firing one additional beanbag round, the man threw a weapon at officers, hitting a police car and nearly striking the officers. The man then ran toward a second story apartment and hid behind a wall of an apartment occupied by a woman and her young daughter. The woman, now inside the apartment with her young daughter, called 911. Salvador, no te escucho. Estoy hablando con la muchacha que vive aquí al lado, no contigo. Salvador, ocupa salida médica. Yo sé que te, te lastimaron ellos. In an attempt to de-escalate the situation and persuade the man to drop the knife and surrender peacefully, officers and a hostage negotiator talked with the man for more than 90 minutes. During that time, the negotiator repeatedly asked him to set the knife down. Several times during the standoff, the man glanced over the wall and yelled at officers. Officers deployed a drone to see what he was doing on the balcony. A police officer monitoring the video feed from the drone saw the man put a knife on the ground. The knife is on the ground next to him, deploy, deploy, deploy. Now, more than 90 minutes into the negotiation, police decided to take advantage of the situation. That's when they fired less lethal pepper ball rounds at the man in an attempt to end the situation. Watch as the man begins throwing objects at the police, including bikes and chairs. Still possessing the knife, he attempts to open the front door. He will take a large reddish board and smash the window of the apartment in an attempt to enter the apartment where the woman and child were sheltering in place. And that's when the officer involved shooting occurred. Officers quickly made their way up to the second floor landing to disarm the suspect and move the mother and her daughter to a safe location. Hurry, 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 hurry. Here is a screenshot of the knife recovered from the scene. Officers attempted to render aid. However, the suspect succumbed to his injuries. The subject's motivation and to what extent drugs or alcohol may have played in his behavior are unknown at this time and is part of the ongoing investigation. The man was identified as Salvador Macida. He was on probation following an arrest after an extended standoff in December of 2021 when he threw glass bottles at officers. 